Aloha, everybody. What's going on? This is an emergency edition emergency. of the Too Close to Call cast, baby. We got breaking news. Bryce Harper signs with the Philadelphia Phillies. Bro, I have been waiting for this emergency podcast for what feels like a year now. You've been begging for this for probably upwards of a month. Our first emergency podcast, I said on record, I can't wait for the Bryce Harper emergency podcast, and it's finally here. That's right, baby. It's come out this afternoon that the Phillies and Bryce Harper have agreed to a 13-year, $330 million deal that includes no opt-outs for either side, Bryce or the Phillies, as well as a full no-trade clause. What are your thoughts here in those numbers? That is a lot of money. I am so glad that the Phillies swallowed their pride and shelled out the cash to them. 13 years is wild, but I think the craziest thing is the no opt-out at all for either side. So what's your take on the chatter then that we're hearing around Angelo Cataldi out there, 94-1, saying a solid source is the opt-outs or the sticking point. And not only did he not get one at year five like Machado or even year three like Arenado, he didn't get one at all. He's got to be here 13 years. So was that just a load of shit? Or what do you take, I guess, away from all these rumors that you heard and how it ended up being 13 and 330? I don't think all of it's bullshit because these people are getting this shit from somebody. I think ultimately people hear some things and they spin it one way when it really, in reality, it's not that big of a deal. I think the Phillies were like, we'll go 13. How about that? You get 13 solid years of a solid paycheck. What do you think about that? And he was like, okay, deal. Yeah, so do you think they were originally at 10 and 330 and he was kind of antsy and then they said, okay, you know what? Those are age 37, 38, and 39 seasons. Maybe he doesn't yeah. think he's going to be making $25 million a year at that point. So let's just guarantee the extra three, knowing we're going to have to wear it in what I believe is 2031. So right. <laughs> why not Shit. give him the extra three years? And I think for Bryce, it's like, okay, hopefully by then the NL is in the DH mode. I could just be a DH for my latter years in Philadelphia in a home run friendly park it's like okay let's do it yeah there's rumors of the dh coming as soon as three to five years from now so even the entire second half of that deal he could be used as a designated hitter yeah with 13 years looks like that old uh, smoke screen with his wife not wanting to come to philadelphia she's going to become uh very familiar with the philadelphia life and uh gonna have to get old place down at the jersey shore yeah if he hasn't made a trip down to avalon or sea isle city yet i believe he's going to or she is while he's traveling and working this summer is going to be spending a lot of time down there we're going to have to sell her on avalon <laughs> dude he's going to get embraced by these philadelphia fans they are going to love him it's going to be a perfect fit. That's funny you say that because two days ago, Philadelphia was all over him because apparently this was all about the money and he was only going where the most dollars were. And we may not know if this was the largest deal offered, but it was clearly the longest term and the 25 a year is not the most money. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe this wasn't about the money. And do you think Philadelphia will flip that easy and welcome him with open arms kind of like you just did? Dude, there's no doubt in my mind. They are going to completely flip around. All the hypocrites in town are going to be like, Bryce, I love you, even though I called you an asshole two weeks ago. Let's see what Howard Eskin has to say on Twitter. Right. Oh, God. So you put Bryce Harper in right field at Citizens Bank, a little bit of an easier place to play, smaller dimensions out there. I guess, are you concerned at all about the... Manny Machado stigma, since I can't think of a better word, of now he'll be complacent and we may not get Bryce Harper's best this year? Or do you think he'll be extra motivated because now I think the Phillies may be the favorite to win the NL East? Yeah, I think this guy's a competitor. I think he enjoys playing the game. I think you saw that in the Home Run Derby in Washington, yelling at his dad to throw a freaking strike. And I just think he's a competitor at heart, and we're going to get nothing but the best out of him. I think there's going to be some people that are tough on him if he's going to slump or something, but I think he can handle it. 
Yeah, I mean, last year was an average year by his standards, or even a down year, some people are saying, and he still hit almost 250 with 30 and right around 100. So I can only imagine at Citizens Bank what that's going to equate to, even if he does have a good year. That would be insane. What's his uh, reception going to be like when he's going to play the Nationals, what, nine times out of the year or whatever, however many times we make a trip down to Washington? That's a good question, man, and I don't think it's going to be a positive one. I think it's no, going to it's be not. similar to what Jason Worth was getting when he was coming back to Philadelphia. So that's <laughs> going to get hated on. <laughs> that's a lot of booze over the course of 13 years. But, hey, maybe eventually it'll get back to the days of that being Citizens Bank South, like 2007 to 2011. I'm excited for Phillies baseball to be back, man. It definitely brings excitement back to the summer, and I think we'll sell a ton more tickets. I know I'm going to head to a few games, definitely some dollar dog games in April, but it gets me excited. Now I guess the follow-up question here, and because we're in a what's next society, is now that they have Bryce Harper, are they done with their offseason moves, or do you think they're going to move on to any of these other free agents that are still out there now that the main domino has fallen and a lot of these guys can sign? I'm going to piggyback off your bold prediction of Bryce Harper. I think they're going to make a pitch to uh, Keuchel. He's a Boris guy, and I think uh, they're going to need to bring an arm in, and they're like, hey, we're going for it this year. Let's, let's get Dallas Keuchel as well. I've heard his name a lot in rumors, and my old man's like you. He wants to bring him in because he thinks we need starting pitching. And the more and more I kind of think about it is I would really shy away from anything beyond two years for him. I think he may have one if two good years left. And honestly, where my head is right now, and the final piece to the puzzle is Craig Kimbrell, the closer from the Red Sox. Now, it was reported that he wanted four to five years, but apparently due to decreased velocity and things along those lines, he may only get one to two years. And I think if you put him in the ninth inning, then you put David Robinson or Robertson, who they signed in the eighth inning, and you have Sir Anthony in the seventh inning, then you have the offense and now the formidable back end of the bullpen. And we saw that that's the way October baseball is trending. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm fine with either of them, man. I just want to get this Phillies baseball season started. Right, and they're playing this spring, and that was breaking news, so I'm sure the mood around the ball club is going to be a positive one moving forward. And obviously now with Harper in the mix, I think they're done on the positional player front unless they're going to trade a couple of pieces away. But if everybody's healthy, Pags... I guess, how do you see these guys filling out the lineup with, you know, Hernandez being healthy, Quinn and Herrera and those guys? What do you think they'll end up? I'm going to go Cesar leading off. I think he is a solid leadoff hitter. Then you go Segura second, throw Harper in at the third spot, Reese four, Real Muto five, McCutcheon six, Dubes seven and Michael Franco at eight. Man, that is a scary lineup. Isn't it right? Honestly, I think that's where I have it for opening day as well. But we both know fucking Gabe Kapler is a magician with these analytics and he'll have all different types of lineups going. But right off the top of my head, man, I may not see a better lineup out there in baseball. And speaking of Gabe Kapler, that hot seat just got way hotter yeah and the rumors there of harper not wanting to play for kapler how do you think that relationship will go because based on what they say themselves again take it with a grain of salt but they really hit it off at this presentation and they're going to be the best of buds here you know what do you say i took from him that he likes to eat it's like oh thanks gabe that's what we're getting from you fucking gabe kapler he drives me freaking crazy i think as long as everybody's winning it's all good So I guess then, what are your expectations for this year? Where do you need them to finish to call the season a success? Because based on our previous pods, this offseason is now an A-plus-plus in your books. Win the NL East and win a series. I'm with you on the NL East. I think if they add Kimbrell or Keuchel, then we're talking National League champs and competing with the likes of the Cubs and Dodgers and Cardinals and Oh, man, they're right on the cusp here. And if they play well and have a few breakouts from their starting pitchers, there's no reason they can't be playing into November. 
Bro, I'm just so pissed. I left. I was in Philadelphia today, and I left right as this story was breaking. I went to see if there was people honking horns and shit like that, but I wasn't lucky enough to see that. No, oh, I'm sure that town's going to be crazy. But as we mentioned at the top of the episode, 13 years, 330 million for Bryce Harper. No opt outs, full no trade clause, bringing excitement back to the ballpark here in Philadelphia. Absolutely. It's going to be an exciting time. Get Phillies baseball up until the birds come on. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Even past when the birds come on now, baby. It is no longer get us to Labor Day. It is now get us to the end of October. Exactly. Now the Eagles have a little bit of pressure off them because hopefully the Phillies are playing deep in and the Sixers are like, oh, thank God not everybody's pissed off about the Harper thing. (laughs) Oh, man. Where do you think Harper ranks in the superstars of Philadelphia now? Do you think he'll be on Carson Wentz's level or some of these Sixers, Joel Embiid? What do you think? I would put Embiid one, Wentz two, and then you got to put Harper, Simmons, those guys right there in that 3-4 spot there. Right, and if Harper can bring them back to a World Series, I think he may even jump up to one or two on that list. Would Absolutely. be pretty Absolutely. crazy to imagine. Yeah, and I mean, Reese is up there. Everybody loves Reese Hoskins. If we go top five, I'd say Embiid, Wentz, Harper, Simmons, Hoskins, Giroux, something like that. Right, probably Hoskins, keep the hockey guy, unfortunately, out of it. But, uh, yeah, man, I like it. So, appreciate you hopping on for the emergency cast here and the Too Close to Call podcast. This has been what you've been waiting for. Yet another one of my bold predictions comes true. So, if you're not on the bandwagon and I'm not making you money yet, please hop on because it is a good feeling. (laughs) Hey, your bold prediction doesn't come true until Keichel gets signed, buddy. <laughs> but Harper made me money anyway, so we're going with yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, man. I just think it's crazy how it went doom and gloom. And what did I say to you earlier today? I said, the fact that everybody's coming out saying that he's not going to sign with the Phillies makes me feel more confident that he's going to sign with the Phillies. Right, and I had flip-flopped. I went from 60-40 to 46 Yeah, man. Crazy. I can't believe it. I'm so pumped. Oh, I love it. But, yep, that's the emergency edition, the Bryce Harper signing edition of the Too Close to Call cast. As always, we appreciate you guys listening. Give us five stars. Follow us on all your social media. We appreciate it. Yeah, we got a uh, YouTube reaction literally minutes after it uh, occurred. So check that out. And uh, thanks for everything, guys. We appreciate it. Later. Peace. (laughs) Peace.